Savage. Scorpio. How funny. Maybe that was like Scorpio, just energy, just chain like dude. Like, yeah, yeah that, was very, that was very Scorpio. Uh, yeah. yeah, we're gonna give the nightmare before Christmas for fucking Scorpio. I don't know what to say about Scorpio and their love lives because I feel like this is this is it. <laughs> this is it. This is the bomb.com. If anybody's got the bomb, it's the bomb.com, but I feel like the Scorpios can fuck this shit up. That's like the ongoing bet before this, this been show. It's the ongoing every week. bet that every Scorpio is going to fuck up their greatest love story. Because they're going to just stay stuck in their own bullshit. And this is their time to reach and build a bridge and go on the other side of the bridge. You know? Every week before this show starts, you think Scorpios are going to fuck it up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, do. if there was any week for them to really get over this because they're, it's their emotional shit squaring the nodes with the relationship in first house, like, I, I feel like this is where they could finally take the challenge on emotionally and actually plant and build, or they can disconnect emotionally and... This is it, this is the bridge. Focus and keep, keep saying that everybody's a liar and everybody's not good and blah, 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 and live in their darkness and live by themselves and, you know, live in their pain. Sounds horrible, but... You did get the three of pentacles as your first card here. You did get the three of wands as your challenge. You did get the knight of cups here in reverse. And you got the king of wands in reverse. Yeah. It's time to build together. It's time to, I mean, but three of pentacles, I mean, it could be dealing with like you're on the fence about you and somebody. Uh, three of swords reversed. Uh, there's nothing to be scared about building things right now. But you're too afraid to move forward emotionally. The tower card. You're too afraid of things not going to work out. That's your issue. Not being open and positive. Like the, remember, like the, these three of wands are about opening up and seeing a new direction. And look at this. It's like in your challenge position. It's like this is your candlestick to kind of walk through the fucking the dark hallway and you're not doing that and you're not running towards it. Nope. King of Wands reversed. What's up with this tower card here? Two of Swords reversed. Well, why are you so, what is it that Queen of Wands? I, I feel like, I feel like this is a moment where you're going to realize your fears emotionally are from the past that you're, you're clear about, and it's time to take on making a call and, and owning the happiness. I feel like this is like the end to not moving forward emotionally that you wanted to go and always coming up with some fucking crazy fucking, ah, this is going to be bad. This is gonna be I think that you're done doing that, but I feel like you're kind of going through that at the moment. I feel like, why are you not leaping towards anything? I think that you're afraid of the new doorway here. I think that you're afraid of a new positive life. Look at it. I even like this because it's very Scorpio. It's like, you're going to turn into this new, scary, beautiful doll that everybody wants. But you're like, I don't know. I kind of like being the tattered, scary doll that has like really scary shit already and blood on it and all that shit. It's like, nah. It's not hot. It's not attractive wearing your fucking scars anymore. Like, I'm not saying don't wear your scars, but like, there's this new open doorway here that's opening up the awesome fucking physical life that you could have, but you're like you're too afraid to walk down that door and not realize it's going to take commitment. It's going to take these... Your fear of commitment is so funny that you desire it from so many people, yet you are right now dealing with it on the highest. You got a queen of swords here. I think that you're thinking way too much, but... At least you're clear, and I think that's good. Everything keeps pointing towards that you're actually very clear on things. You're just terrified of, I think, moving forward emotionally into this new doorway. 
So that's positive, at least. I, I don't. I just think it's like. I mean, that's that's. Put it this way. That's natural, but at the same time, with the greatest love transit of any zodiac sign of all time, I don't really understand. <laughs> put it that way. That you're holding back, and and then, and I think that you're too worried about. Well, look, the other person, the other person. No, it's you. It's you. It's you willing to be like, I want it. Let's go. I'm ready to build this instead of waiting on somebody else to kind of give you the answers. The, depending even, and, and, and you can't follow the traditional man, woman thing and all that shit. Like, like the, the, the clarity has been there. The doors have been given to you, like all that shit. So we, we need to see what does Camelot say here? What does good old Camelot say? Mm, well, you did get the white spring, not the dark spring. This is the energy card. I mean, it's a, it's it's this it's like the spring, the protection. But I also like it because it does say that it does have this gratitude. It, there's this beautiful. I'm looking at it as like I don't know why water, like spring water, like like the like refreshing place to go. And it's almost like I don't know. It's like you just like you're like scared of it. You're looking for the swamp. I don't know why I'm getting that. I'll put one more Avalon card because I'm like, what, 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 why? Merlin, yep, you are too afraid of the magic. <laughs> oh, but that's why, that's why it's more those saying though that that magic is there. So don't be afraid to go. I don't, I don't know why. I, do, I don't understand, but you, it's your beliefs and your beliefs of the past that are holding you back and to let go and to believe into the future of this magic instead of getting caught up into that's your love house anyway and you got jupiter venus and neptune the rulers of your fifth house all together which will never happen again in your life so look at that you got to cleanse the past shit you're too connected to old past pain old past situations what's your shadow here just being a stupid retarded fucking scorpio right now <laughs> oh I can't have the, the highest good, the noble, the higher honors, or a better, higher life. I'm just going to keep choosing fucktards and people that were, or just myself, or not. I can't go up to, I, can't, I can only be in District 7. I can't go to the fucking, you know, I can't go to the fucking capital. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I got to stay in District 7. <laughs> I got to stay in rags. I can't go to riches. Oh, this is your biggest shadow. Look at hiding your true self. It's like creating the false self. That's the opposite, right? Like, no, I'm not that noble. I'm not that good enough. I, I can't have that. That's too good for me. Or that's too this. Look at this. Your ultimate relaxation is when you have the place where you can relax and feel comfortable in everything instead of this kind of like, no, I can't. I got to like relax into... What's true? Pretty simple. Like, don't look at that relaxation card. It's like, well, I'm just supposed to relax. I don't need to do anything. No, you'll lose it all and it won't be relaxing. Relaxation means that, look at he got everything done right. And it's nighttime. And he's chilling because it all got done. Instead of, I'm just going to relax and not do anything. Look at that. King of presents. King of pentacles. Like fucking having the life that you want instead of fucking avoiding that singles eight of swords reverse you're getting it don't be around toxic people anymore you're done with that you got a ten of cups reverse don't be afraid of family life and the ultimate dream life and page of wands reversed you got to be a little flirty. I got a feeling, although sing, some singles might be trying to move into somebody that is toxic, that doesn't really want the fucking future life that you want and isn't showing that and you're going towards that place. So be very careful. If you're in a relationship, queen of pentacles reversed, the fool card, six of pentacles reversed. I don't know. I, I almost feel like this is kind of a, a, a weird moment if you're in a relationship, although I'm picking this as like kind of newer relationships. I'm feeling like old relationship Scorpios like are kind of like 
not showing up. I don't know why. Because I'm feeling like there's a kind of foolishness of thinking that the relationship's going to offer some service and that they're going to, they, they say they have a lot when they really don't monetarily and ought to offer. And I did get a page of Pentacles reverse here. It's like false. I almost feel like, I can't be, getting, I feel like Scorpios are all kind of in this weird place where it's like, I'm going to put this as a co combination that it's like, be careful of like, yes, you got to be careful of like some really dumb fucking places. But then there's these really amazing places that you're not going towards or giving it your all. Your sex life, eight of cups. That's weird. That's moving away. I don't know why, and this might be crazy, maybe for just one person to save their fucking journey here. Six of cups reversed. I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like there's two stories here. There's Scorpios that are going down the most dumbest road of their life and they know it and they're just doing it and they have no problem going into relationship. And then there's Scorpios that have this amazing opportunity and they know it's good for them and they're avoiding it completely. And they're like unsure what to do. That's the best way that I could give this and the specifics which I just did in the reading, but that's where it's at. Some Scorpios are choosing to rush into some new thing that they are going to go repeat their pain cycle and they know it. And they're like all like just trying to just change things up. And then there's Scorpios that can actually get out of their pain cycle and they're terrified of going in that place. And the person is offering things and does have all the things that they need, but not the false version of it. Mm. Take control, manifesting or meaning, meaningful coincidences, dark night of the soul. Yeah, this is a, this is an epiphany of a dark night of the soul moment here, and the meaningful coincidences that are showing up that you need to take control of a situation that's good and take control of getting rid of the situation that's bad. Because you're having a dark night of the soul epiphany, no matter what. Like, wow. Where are they supposed to go? The inner strength of where they really want to go. I feel like you're going to the weaker place. You need to go to the stronger place. You got part of fortune, you got Gemini, and you got it in the 10th house. So, I mean, this is where, this is glory time. This is time for you to, to find the glory and embody, embody the glory of your life and the environment that really you want to be in the place where you could really it's like a twin energy too. Where's your twin energy that really feels like they're on the same energy. They're on the same purpose. I think if you're trying to connect with somebody on the opposite purpose, it's not going to be fortunate. Let's see. What's the villain that you're being besides being the dumbass right now. That's missing out on the greatest journey of your life and the dumbass that's going for the worst journey of your life to repeat your pain cycle. Besides that, Besides that, Scorpio. Well, <laughs> that came crawling out. Oh, nine of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, I'm not that great looking. It's okay. They're a nice person. I. You not you you being with somebody that's not as attractive as you. All right, Scorpio. That's how you know you're in the wrong spot. That's how you know. You need to definitely... There's got to be a, a high level of attraction and romance for you right now. That's like the most important thing ever. But that's probably also in you. Like, you got to put that out there. And I would say that you're at like a big emotional gut check point with Saturn and Mars in your fourth. This can be where you're dragging yourself into the abyss of your emotions or where you're also learning how to take emotional responsibility in different revolutionary ways to find more love, to build better connection, to realize that you don't have to do it necessarily all on your own. You can let people in, but you also have to like put some stuff out there. This is not a time where you're going to find love and romance by crawling into a hole. This is definitely where you're making changes in your day-to-day -day life of how to express yourself in a much more full and a much more magical manner. I mean, Venus coming into your fifth house is super romantic, super lovey-dovey, and it's with Jupiter and Neptune, I mean, 
literally the best relationship romance transit of anybody is you but you have to deal with mars and saturn square the nodes in your fourth house and i just think that this is where you don't want to you don't want to mess it up by isolating yourself or not building a foundation within yourself to make good responsible decisions for what you really want for the really good stuff and um i think if you don't make changes in your day-to-day -day life to let that come out you're, you're gonna miss out and you got eclipses coming in your seventh and first house so it's it's a big time like from here till the next you know lunation the next solar eclipse cycle that we're about to have is some of the biggest times for you in making emotionally responsible choices for what a foundation is in your life and for what's going to be the most magical love stories of your life so don't miss this chance and stay in something that you don't even want to be in that is some scorpio hole i'm just gonna stay in this hole or go into a really bad hole. Yeah, make sure you're going into the right holes. It's very important, Scorpio. Very important. Important. Yeah, because I almost feel like Scorpios can kind of pick second best, too, that have, are kind of at the point where they're, they're finally here, and it's like, well, I'll just take the, the, this is, was the offer. It's like, you don't want to do that. Oh. But you also want to, like, make yourself available. It's, it's a little tricky, but it's at the same time, like, be careful be careful with that solar eclipse coming with uranus in the seventh if you think that you've already figured it all out and it's all gonna be so great fucking you know it's more where it's like this is gonna really take me to a better place in my life and this person is almost like a person that's gonna take me to a better life like not take me down a road that I'm like, well, that looks kind of crazy and different, but it's like, that's not really the life I want to go down. That's going to make my life better. And you already know that. Hmm. 